Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another interesting tutorial. So in this tutorial we will see how we can integrate Jenkins with Artifactory. So if you have seen my previous tutorial on DevOps, we have seen how to set up Jenkins, uh, what are the basics, configurations, integrating Jenkins with Git and a lot of other things we have seen. We have also seen how to set up Artifactory, create repositories. So this will be a tutorial where you can integrate Jenkins with Artifactory. So what we will uh, do in this overall process of this uh, you know, uh, CICD concept of uh, integrating Artifactory for built uh, you know, artifact management. So usually Artifactory is used as a binary management tool so where you can store your artifacts. So we will have Git uh, as our source code management tool where we will have our source code for the project. So I'll be using the Game of Life uh, project, which we have used it for Maven uh, tutorial. So what we'll do is we will check out the code from Git and uh, we will have uh, integration with Jenkins. So Jenkins will uh, pull the code. Uh, the Jenkins will be running as a Docker container and uh, we will use Maven to build that code, uh, which is pulled from Git. So once you do the build from Maven, we will have a uh, binaries which is getting created that will be stored into the Artifactory. And the Artifactory will be also running as a Docker container. So the overall uh, process, what we will do in this tutorial, so as a just uh, a step by step process, what we will do as part of this uh, Jenkins Maven Artifactory integration. So uh, for you to have a easy, you know, startup, uh, you know, if you don't have Jenkins and Artifactory uh, set up, so I will show you how to quickly set up Jenkins and Artifactory as a Docker container. And you know you can uh, create a repository in Artifactory. So we'll create a repository where we need to store the artifacts, and we will install uh, the Artifactory plugin in Jenkins, and we'll also configure the plugin so that the Artifactory, you know, the URL will be accessed uh, in the Jenkins. So uh, we'll also configure Maven, which is needed for the build, and uh, we'll create a job and uh, configure a Git and start the build and uh, post build actions. So once we run the job, we will have the you know, jar, var file which is getting created from the uh, our source code, um, and that uh, all the config, all the files will be stored into the artifactory repository which we got created. So before I get into the actual uh, hands-on, uh, I would request you if you are new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button, kindly like the video, share, and comment. So let's get started. So I have a Docker machine. So I'm going to create a Jenkins container and also a Artifactory container. So I'm going to run this command. So I'm not going to explain about this uh, commands and everything. If you need, I will link the video description. Uh, I will link the you know video for how to set up Jenkins as a Docker container in this video description and same for the Artifactory as well. So you can go through that. So I have a detailed video on how to create a uh, uh, Jenkins as uh, Docker container as also as Kubernetes uh, thing. So you can check with that. So now if you see I have a Docker container running. Let me create a container for uh, Artifactory as well. So I'm going to run this command. So again, you know, I, as I said, you can check the video description to so get the link for uh, Artifactory, how to set up Artifactory as a Docker container. So let me clear out the screen and uh, I have a doc two containers running, one for uh, Jenkins and one for Artifactory. So now we need to access uh, this uh, no, uh, Jenkins and Artifactory through our web browser. So uh, Artif Artifactory can be accessed through 8082 port and uh, Jenkins through 8080. So the IP address of this uh, machine uh, you, know, you can use uh, to access. So depending upon your machine IP address, you can use that. Now you can see I am accessing the Jenkins uh, using the IP address and port 8080. So in the initial uh, setup, uh, you know, for Jenkins, you need to give the ad initial admin password, which you need to get it from the Docker uh, logs. So I need to just use Docker logs and the container ID, and you'll have this uh, password here. So just copy that and uh, paste that in it. So I will just keep these uh, things. So uh, no, I will see you back once the uh, all setup is done and we'll have the jobs ready. Meanwhile, I will also access the Artifactory, which is on 8082 port. So you can see uh, it's also uh, log, you know, came up into the initial screen. Now we need to 
login the initial uh, account will be admin and the password will be password so you can uh, type admin and the password as password and you can log in and uh, it will ask you uh, to change the password if you ask you can change it if not uh, it's fine so let me skip it you can also change the password under uh, the tab at identity access you can go to users and uh, you'll be able to see the uh, user account the admin account and you can also create a new user I would suggest you create a new user which you can use it for accessing as well so in the users you can see I have uh, admin so if you want to change the password you can go to that user and you can change the password as well so you can see if you go down you'll have an option to retype uh, a password so you can use that as well to change so you can also create a new account so now let's create a repository okay so we need to create a repository for uh, uh, our integration so I will use local repository and uh, I will use generic so basically you know you can uh, use maven uh, you know if you are uh, having access for creating that so this uh, version of uh, artifactory i don't think i have an access uh, available for maven so i'll just use generic and you can give a name for repository so i will give it as a test okay so you can use any other name so and i'll just uh, save and finish so now we can see we have a test repository as well and if i go to artifactory artifacts you know you have a test repository and if i expand there is nothing in it so what we will do is we will uh, go back to our jenkins so we are uh, inside the jenkins now so the whole setup is done so we will go to manage jenkins uh, we will uh, go to manage plugin go to available and i will uh, search for artifactory Yeah, you can see artifactory I'll select that and I will use install without restart so I'll wait for this installation to be completed so you can see uh, some of these uh, files are showing pending right so I'll wait for that to be done so the artifactory plugin installation is completed so let's go back to the screen so now what we need to do is go back to manage Jenkins again uh, configure system and um, I'm just waiting for that page to be loaded okay so we are inside the uh, configure system you need to scroll down to the option for uh, jfrog so let's see yep so we can see jfrog uh, over here so we need to add the jfrog instance so I will uh, give a name so I'll just give a name artifactory server okay so it's a just name so you can give any name so and I will uh, give the URL so I'll just copy this URL from here and I'll just paste that URL here and I will use the username as admin and the password I have uh, set uh, when resetting okay so if you can as I said you know this is not the right way so you can use a specific user uh, from artifactory and you can ask give an access specific for uh, the repository which you want uh, uh, to be able to access through Jenkins so you can use that uh, no user over here so now you can see I am able to see like it has founded an artifactory version under this so I'm just going to save this so um, that part is done and I'll go to manage Jenkins again and I'll go to uh, global tools configurations uh, because we need uh, maven to be uh, used for our uh, build option so i will click on maven and i will give a name over here as um, maven again you can use any name and i will select the default versions and i'll just uh, save it so you can see i have uh, put the check marks all uh, as install automatically so that uh, what will happen is when you run the build it will automatically install the maven so other option is you can have to install maven on the machine which you have, uh, uh, have you know on the jenkins running or then you have to map that location over here so i think this is much easier way so let's create a new uh, uh, job now i will name the job as test and i'll select this as a maven project and uh, let me click on ok now we are uh, inside the project and I will use the source code repository so if you see I have this source code repository which is a public 
so it's a game of life project so i will uh, link that uh, over here so we are using that project for this build okay so it's going to be the master branch and i'm not use, going to use any build triggers okay and uh, yes so no pre-steps i'm going to add so in the build i'm going to use uh, the gold as package you can use other goals as well like install or, or anything like that so now i'm going to select this uh, post steps that run only if the build succeed so I'm, i want the not only the build succeed only i need to push it for uh, the artifactory so i'm going to use the post build okay so here if you see there is an option called deploy artifacts to maven repository uh, sorry, it's not for Maven repository. Build uh, deploy artifacts to artifactory, so that's what we need to do. So I'm going to use uh, uh, deploy artifacts to artifactory, so you can see the uh, server details is already listed. And you know I want to give a name for I'm going to give a name for the project, so which is the test project, right? So you, if you want, you can create a snap dot repository as well. So I'm going to use only the release repository, okay? So you can go through this, um, you know, um, settings if you want. So you have a build uh, name, deploy Maven artifacts. So I want to deploy the Maven artifacts. Okay. So there are a few options if you want. You can go through it. So just save this. Now you can click on build now. And let's see what is happening. So you can see the console output. So it's will uh, it will uh, you know do the check out for the git project then it will do the build and it will uh, if the build is successful then it will push those uh, archive the artifacts into the artifactory so let's uh, wait okay So now you can see the whole uh, process is completed and it's a uh, success so if you see the build is success and also after that you know it's uh, started archiving the files so uh, you can go through the whole uh, logs uh, so it will tell you like the complete uh, pom.xml logs you know like uh, what it has done like it has done a lot of tests and packaging build and everything now at the end you can see it's archiving so the overall uh, build is successful so now if i go back to the artifactory and uh, let me refresh it now if i expand the test folder you can see there are other files over here right which was not there before and if you see game of life so it has already you know archived those things into the, our artifactory so if you see you know you can see the files over here So if I show you the web folder, you can see the war file is also here. So the overall uh, process, if you see how to integrate Artifactory, you can see you know the steps what we have done. You have to install the Artifactory plugin, configure your Artifactory server. Then you need to have Maven if you are using a Java project for your build. If you are using some other uh, project, don't worry. The process is almost. Uh, same you once you configure the artifactory plugin you need to configure your build process uh, you know to do whatever the build responsible for that and the post build action you can uh, select that option for uh, you know, deploying to artifactory so that will uh, you know, complete the overall process of uh, deploying you know the project into uh, artifactory so that is all for this project i hope uh, you know it's a informative tutorial for you and uh, I will link the, all the information in the video description so you can have a look there. So uh, subscribe my channel for more videos like this and also uh, give feedbacks, like this video, share and comment.